politics with this most unfortunate situation. The report situation. on Malapuram, for example, points out that contact tracing is not being done effectively. 91%, according to this report, are in home isolation and even immediate family members are at risk. The report also raises serious question about contact tracing of family members. Sir, in your appreciation, is there a flaw in the Kerala model or is there a flaw in the data in this draft report and the ICMR report as being pointed out by Dr. Fuad Halim and Dr. Anish? Good evening, Gaurav. Good evening, everyone on panel. Gaurav, just allow me a couple of minutes because I want to put some uh, scientific facts in the framework so that all the doubts are eliminated immediately. I think if you put anti-science, religion and politics into a mixer, you're going to have grave and lethal consequences. Now, we are obviously seeing that 3% of the Indian population, which Kerala has, is contributing close to 50 or beyond 50% of active cases day on day add on. It's important to understand that almost 75% of all infections of COVID are asymptomatic and 33% of them are going to land up into long COVID, which have lethal consequences. We are not dealing with the original strain. We are dealing with the Delta strain. Yes. This is the only strain in which it has changed the RO from 2 to 2.5, now reaching up to 8. What does this Delta variant do? It's 1,260 times carrying the more viral load on day one. It's 225 times more transmissible. It is giving a death rate of more than 225%. It is giving a hospital admission rate of more than 287%. Keeping those statistics in mind, what is important to understand is that unscientific sudden relaxations, either in terms of restrictions and then suddenly uh, superficial band-aid kind of weekend restrictions and lockdowns are unscientific. I'm not getting into the religion or the politics of it, but what Kerala needs to do now is there is no Kerala model to begin with. There is no state model. There are internationally accepted guidelines which ICMR is following. Those guidelines need to be followed. Okay. And I don't want any to be backslapping in self-praise and loathe that we've done very well. This is a bushfire which has started now. This could very well turn out to be the third wave in the initiation. Go back to the basics. Okay. Contact tracing. Testing. Sir, respond or, respond to I Dr. Say, Anish and I, I want to bring in Dr. Anish, Dr. Anish and Dr. Bagai, since you're both medical uh, uh, professionals. Dr. Anish, it's not just about low contact tracing according to this draft report. Now, this draft report accessed by India today also says in spite of increasing trajectory, week on week average testing is showing a downward trend in Kerala. So cases are going up, testing going down. Dr. Anish. I, I don't think I don't think the testing is going down. It's actually testing is going up and we are actually average around two lakh testers, tests per day, which is the highest media. No, so I, so you, which means you're raising serious questions about the about this report, about the findings of this report, Dr. Anish. Kerala does not yeah. agree with the central report, that means. But if you look at the you, you can also just check the test data and you can find that Kerala is having the highest test per day. That may be because of the number of cases that I agree. And I have got two other things. One, one thing is it is Delta. If, if you go out, you may get infected. So it is not wise to put people for infinite point time in quarantine or in, in lockdown. So it will tell us what serious economic and uh, social side effects. So that the, the, the BJP and Tom Wodakan can actually have arrange vaccines for our state so that it will be better so that we can we can we can counter the situation dr bagai so disagrees with you one. sir also respond to dr bagai's point 3% population close to 50% cases somewhere down the line you know backslapping kerala backslapping itself saying we've done very well and the kerala model is success is a success doesn't seem to hold true according to dr bagai dr anish uh, can, can I see another data that Kerala has reported almost three, 30 lakhs cases, that is 3 million cases. Okay, it is somewhere around 10% uh, of the state's population. But you know that only 44% is the zero prevalence. An area where the 44% of the zero prevalence reported has highest 10% of its population as plus positive. But in India, you look at only three crores, that is only 2.5% of the population. But the zero prevalence data is saying that it is 65%. Uh, the all India level, 65% of them might have infected, but they are reporting only 25 
And in Kerala, only 44% is infected and they are reporting 10%. That means it is the case picking is, is okay. much more in Kerala. You are saying you are so testing more.